Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, and welcome to another World Pack Talk Show. My name is Lillian Benzi, WPO Press and Communication Officer, and today we will fly directly to Egypt to interview a very special WPO member, the Chamber of Printing and Packaging Industries. I have with me Nadine Elias, chairman of the chamber, that is a significant entity within the Federation of Egyptian Industries. We will explore in this interview how the chamber contributes to modernize the local packaging industry through new technologies, training programs, and encouraging innovation. So you are very welcome, Nadine. Hello, thank you. I'm happy to be here and uh, to give you an insight into the, uh, the Egyptian printing and packaging industries through the Chamber of, it, of, uh, of Printing and Packaging Industries in Egypt. It's really a pleasure to hear, uh, to have you here today and to hear all the information you're gonna share with us. So when the Chamber of Printing and Packaging Industries was created, and what were the main drivers to create it? The Chamber of Printing and Packaging Interest, uh, Industries was established in 1958 with the goal of cooperating with the government to develop and implement policies for the printing industry. It was created, uh, to, ha it was created to have a body that could advocate for industry standards, provide training, and facilitate innovation. It was also there to promote growth and spread of various printing and packaging industries, different, uh, different branches of the, of the printing and packaging industries, solve sector-related issues of government entities. We are also responsible to, if, if our members have problems with the government uh, and they need to be solved, then we, we should be, we, we act to solve uh, the related issue of, with the government entities. We try to remove obstacles for our members of the different uh, governmental organizations. Uh, additionally, the, the chamber works to improve industry standards, provide input on relevant regulations, so provide re input on the regulations, on the uh, industry regulations of Egypt, on any new laws that are there. We need to inform our, uh, our members and create favorable conditions for the success of the sector. As a business association, we aim to serve the industry and represent it before govern the government and other entities. All right. So, uh, but these were the, the main objectives, how it was created. And of course, you still do a lot of this uh, work nowadays. But uh, how, with all the new challenges that the industry, the packaging industry is facing, like sustainability, for example, uh, how can help the development of the local packaging and printing industries in Egypt? Number one, I have to say that uh, <clears throat> Egypt is, yeah, let, me, let me really uh, emphasize that Egypt is on the, uh, on the borders of Asia, of Africa, and is very near to Europe. So in fact, Egypt is really a geographical hub for all this area, for the MENA region, for, for Africa and for Europe. So it is very important for us if we need to export to these countries and we need to, to, uh, to be able to comply with all the regulations on, and the barriers of entry to all these markets, then we have to develop the, uh, our, our industry locally to be able to allow our, our members to export. And, and also more than that, Let's not forget that the products of our uh, chamber, of our members, uh, they represent at least 7 to 10% of any industrial product that is being produced in Egypt. For example, pharmaceuticals, we're talking about uh, food industries, we're talking about engineering industries. So if there are any restrictions, for example, now there is something new, which is the EUDR, which is the European Union Develop uh, Deforestation Regulation. This new, uh, these new rules and laws that are in place, we need to make sure that our uh, our members comply with these uh, with these regulations, or at least 
they they use materials that are complying so that there are no restrictions for egyptian products in general towards their moving moving towards europe and other uh, other places in there which means which means that we have to work with our members to make sure that they understand what is sustainability to make sure that they have the right training the right training with different entities wpo is one of them so last year for example we had a, an important training for a number of companies by trainers who came from the wpo and all these all these uh, trainings they help our members to, uh, to to meet the requirements of the of today's uh, environmental requirements whether for in sustainability or in biodegradable degraded, degradable material or compostable material whichever <clears throat> is needed to be compliant with the international uh, rules of the industry so this is our role this is what we do we support course, we, we we help uh, businesses stay updated on the latest technologies trends and regulatory frameworks by acting as a bridge between companies and government bodies we ensure that the packaging sector is supported at all levels the chamber works to support in adopting advanced technologies improving skill we need to improve the skills of the of, of the uh, employees so that uh, in the company so that they are ready to uh, adopt new technologies and addressing all the industry challenges to enhance competitiveness in global markets because we our uh, our aim really is to uh, is to serve international markets we need for the egyptian economy to be able to export okay and nadine do you produce all kind of packaging in egypt do you have uh, the the complete change, for example? Do you have the raw material polymers, for example, a paper? What is the 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 main production of packaging in Egypt? Let me tell you that while we need to import certain materials because they have to be sometimes our clients uh, have certain requirements. But this doesn't mean that we are not producing materials in Egypt. For example, the the duplex board, the gray back mm -hmm. board material, today is all we are almost self-sufficient on this side. We have two big factories and they are covering the local market. So when we come to uh, to gray board uh, to gray back uh, board for uh, for mass pharmaceutical or uh, food industry or others we are producing these papers from recycled material in Egypt, okay? We also uh, have a petrochemical industry. So the raw material for, poly pol for, for polymers, a lot of them are produced in Egypt. We have also, we can produce films, so we can produce uh, flexible packaging uh, material, but sometimes we need specialized products that are not produced in the companies in Egypt. In this case, then we have to import them. Uh, we don't produce uh, printing plates, for example, in Egypt. We don't mm -hmm. produce printing blankets in Egypt, but we produce inks in Egypt. We produce uh, fluting and liner. So yes, Egypt is an industrial company. We we are not we are not importing all what we need from abroad. We only import when there are certain specific requirements that are required by the international community. Okay. And and for example, I'm sure that if I go to a supermarket in Egypt, uh, I'm going to see all kind of products, all kind of packaging. Uh, but normally, glass and metal, do you import the raw material? Do you produce oh, locally? Cans, cans for uh, aluminum cans, for uh, Coca-Cola, for, uh, for other beverages are produced in Egypt. We have more than a company producing the, the printing and producing uh, aluminum uh, sheets to produce online uh, the containers for uh, for beverages. We uh, we have Saint Gobain with a huge uh, glass manufacturing uh, facility in Egypt, uh, half a billion dollars of investment, and uh, this also a facility. All the, 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 for example, for the Heineken and the, for the beer products and other beverages, the, the, the containers, the glass containers are produced locally. 
Okay. And, and so considering that you said that Egypt is, is kind of hub for the region because it's very well located uh, geographically, what are the main challenges of the packaging industry and what are the main opportunities? The opportunities is that we are very uh, we are very central. We we are able to uh, really to to serve the uh, all the markets uh, the, the markets around us. But we need sometimes. I think that we need to invest in in, in more advanced technologies in equipment. Okay. Actually, now uh, due to some shortage of uh, of foreign currency, sometimes, and also because the uh, the interest rates are quite are quite high these days, we are not, maybe maybe we need to put more. The country needs to do better on uh, on allowing uh, loans, long term loans, for uh, for really improving and modernizing our production lines. This okay. is one. Yeah, so this is very, one very important. Uh, as I told you, we do imp we do uh, import we do produce local materials, but some raw materials are still imported, and we should also try to uh, to to open new factories that can compensate for these uh, raw materials that we are importing. Uh, the sustainability. I don't. We need to improve our transportation systems, our collect our collection systems. For uh, for empty for empty uh, packaging for to be able to be more sustainable, I think that we still don't have enough uh, procedures for sustainability, and this is one of the main issues that the, the chamber is trying to work out with its members to 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 really make it to make our the products more sustainable and eco friendly. So uh, this is another thing. Certainly, that we need training, and uh, and we have been working uh, with many uh, with, the, with the U.S. Uh, aid with GIZ, the German Chamber, with WPO, okay, for the for the training. So uh, yeah, so these are maybe the main challenges that we we are uh, meeting here in, uh, in Egypt uh, regarding the industry. Okay, so and uh, regarding you mentioned that you had a training last year with uh, the WPO uh, team, and uh, besides the training, uh, what do you see as important to be part of a global community like WPO? Uh, do you think we can uh, you can make more networking? You can bring technologies. How WPO can help you? Can help. Well, number one is that I know that that WPO, as you know, as and I know as a member, uh, there are lots of publications. That, and I think that these publications uh, are very important to uh, to make the uh, the industry uh, leaders in Egypt, the uh, players, the local players, the uh, the members of our uh, of chamber, aware. Of, of what's happening because these publications are very useful to to give us the la the, la the latest trends in the in the packaging industry so i think that this is major publications is an important thing we are also working to translate these some of these publications into arabic so this okay. is something also that is very important to make it easy to make the access much easier for our uh, for our members wpo has very good trainers uh, and they have good training body and also, this could be really a good way of cooperating. Last year, when we did the uh, uh, the training, it was on the at the same time as uh, ProPack, okay, and uh, yeah, and we we and uh, and it also there was the Arab Star Award. So I mean, all this creates a an environment and creates a a a, a, a potential for companies to be more interested to work on the on their sustainability. I work on on using more eco-friendly materials, on complying with the international regulations. All this is uh, a role that that WPO uh, and the chamber can play together. Great. And and Nadine, how many members do you have uh, now in the? We budget? have we, we have in fact uh, six thousand members. Okay. Okay. So this is this is a big number of members. 
a but, very big number. Yeah, but we have we have a lot many small small comp, small companies. So the large the, the the large players are much less. So if we're talking about medium and the large size companies. They are much less. The main, the biggest part of the of the companies uh, are are smaller. Maybe we need to do some consolidation. It will come with time. But uh, but we still are serving the whole community of printers. We we I know that uh, the the big players will make more use of of what we are doing because uh, uh, they, they they have more they have more capabilities they have more means to 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 use the technology that we are offering. But yes, we have six thousand members. Wow, that's amazing. That's really amazing. And uh, well mentioned about the communication, the publication. So uh, I was very happy because in WPO we have uh, this, this paper works, we have documents, we have WPO news, that is our newsletter published every four months. So please Nadine, feel free to translate. It's, it's amazing to see that this is an important tool to our members. So uh, we are uh, coming to, to an end of our talk show and I would invite you, Nadine, to leave. You are such an inspiring man and uh, the chamber is such an amazing uh, entity. I would like you to, I, I would invite you to leave us a final message that inspire other countries, other other uh, associations to be as active as you are. Well, first, thank you very much for all what you said, and uh, and I hope that, uh, that the cooperation between us in Egypt and and the WPO, as already it is and exists, will develop much more, and uh, to have common projects in the future. And uh, so thank you very much for asking me to, to join this uh, podcast. And let me tell you that, uh, that really the packaging industry in Egypt is at a pivotal moment of growth and transformation. While we face uh, significant challenges that we talked about, we are also presented with great opportunities to modernize, embrace sustainability, which is very important, and elevate our competitiveness on a global scale. I know that there is an issue with Save the food. Save the food is an important issue with UNIDO, with the help of UNIDO and WPO. And we intend to look at that because we have lots of losses in Egypt in transportation, distribution. So we need to look and also with consumption habits. So we, we, we need to look uh, into this. And I think that this is a very important part of our message. And this is going to be through collaboration, innovation, and continuous learning. We can overcome obstacles, and I hope that we, we build a stronger future for our industry. As a chamber, we are committed to empowering our members, driving the adoption of new technologies like we talked about, and fostering sustainable practices. Being part of the global packaging community, especially, uh, especially through partnerships like WPO and other organizations, international organizations, is key to our journey. Together, we can ensure that Egypt not only meets international standards, but also becomes a leader in the packaging industry. I am happy to say that Egypt is already on the industrial map, and we hope to make much more. And, uh, and we thank WPO for all what it is also offering, and I hope that there will be more and more uh, cooperation in the future. So thank you very much. Thank you, Nadine. You are really an inspiring man, entrepreneur, and the chamber is amazing. So thank you very much for sharing all this information with us today. And we could have a very comprehensive understanding about the importance of the chamber to the packaging and to the printing industry in Egypt. Through its efforts, it works to drive growth, modernization and international collaboration within the sector. And as WPO president Luciana Pellegrino always says, WPO is the voice for packaging, a voice that is speak for all its members, including the chamber in Egypt. And 
to the global packaging community. We need to show that packaging is a very important element to help societies in crucial matters like safe food, food safety and sustainability. And it's amazing to see that members like the chamber in Egypt are doing this work so well. Congratulations, Nadine. Thank you very much for your time today. And thanks for the audience. And see you all in another World Pack Talk Show. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you soon.